Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Your girl is rocking some poops today. I swear I feel like this takes about like five or ten years off of my life. Like I look like a child right now. But it's okay. We still cute. I think it's still cute. I did post a video, like a mini video tutorial on this hairstyle on my Instagram. So if you're interested in seeing that, then go ahead and check out the gram at Alyssa Marie XO. But that is not what we're here to talk about today. Today I wanted to talk all about transitioning to natural hair. I realized that I spent a lot of time talking about my big chop and growing my hair back out, but I did actually transition for five months before I did big chop. And so there were a few things that I did while I was transitioning, like a few pieces of advice that I wanna share with you guys that'll make your lives like a little bit easier. So if you are interested in hearing my advice for you if you are transitioning to natural hair then just continue to watch all right so let's start by saying transitioning to natural hair is not easy by any means whatsoever it can be very frustrating and honestly that is the reason why I ended up big chopping because I couldn't take it anymore but that was just me personally a lot of people prefer to just stick through it they rather not have to chop off all their hair and just continue on with transitioning so like I said, I do have a few pieces of advice if you are one of those people that will hopefully try and make your life a little bit easier. All right, so first things first, as with anything in life, you need to kind of prep your mind for this kind of thing. Like when I tell you that transitioning to natural hair is not easy, it is not easy, it is a struggle. So the first step that you need to do is just get your mind right. You know, set a mindset that you're gonna be patient. You know beforehand that it's gonna be hard, but you promise yourself no matter what, you're gonna try and stay patient and also to be gentle with your hair. There are days that you're gonna wanna pull out your hair, you're gonna wanna chop it all off, but if you've made that commitment to yourself to transition to natural hair, just remind yourself of the end goal and promise yourself that no matter what, you're just gonna stick it out. All right, my next piece of advice is protective styling. Okay, protective styles are gonna be your best friend. When I transitioned, I did French braids all the time, all the time, and I would just wear them like for the full week. Because of the two different textures, your edges can be crazy, your ends can be crazy, your whole hair kind of just looks crazy. So protective styling is going to be honestly your lifesaver. Braids and twists are also really great because you could do braid outs and twist outs to help your relaxed ends or your damaged ends to kind of curl up a little bit more. And in speaking of getting those ends to curl up a little bit more, that brings me to my advice number three, which is wash and goes. So not only are protective styles gonna help you out, but I also found that wash and goes were really cool as well. So what I did was I would just wash my hair, and of course the new growth is gonna be nice and curly, but the challenge is always trying to get those ends to curl up. And what I would do is literally wet my hair every single day, and then I used like tons and tons of curling custards to get my ends to curl up. I always ended up with like a wavy kind of look. My number one go-to product to get my relaxed ends to curl up was the Aunt Jackie's Curl La La. I used to go through jars and jars of that stuff, but it's great, it smells good, it doesn't leave your hair crunchy, and it really just got my ends to curl up. I just really enjoyed doing wash and goes all the time because I felt like I actually looked nice. You know, my hair was a little bit wavy. That made me actually feel pretty and I enjoyed that part of transitioning to natural hair. By the way, Aunt Jackie's Curl La La is a drugstore product, super cheap. It's, I wanna say like three to six dollars. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know it's one of the most affordable brands out there so check it out especially if you have relaxed hair for some reason it just really you got to get in there with a product and crunch your ends while it's soaking wet a diffuser will also help to encourage more curl as well okay so my fourth piece of advice is going to be to have a plan to get your hair trimmed or cut often so there was a point in my little transitioning to natural hair journey where I actually decided to cut off quite a bit of my hair. So there were two main reasons for this. Number one, I found that if my hair was shorter, it was just gonna be easier to deal with. 
less hair means less tangles and all of that. I just, it just got to a point where I was like, you know what, I need to chop some inches off. So I ended up getting like a cute little like long bob. So the second reason why I decided to cut is because I found that my ends curled up easier when my hair was shorter. And the reason for that is simply that it's just less hair weighing itself down. Because it's shorter, it just, I found that it just curled a lot easier, honestly. With that being said, this brings me to point number five. So if you are going to go and get regular trims or even get a cut, it's really important that you find like a hairstylist that you trust. So from the beginning of my natural hair journey, even through when I was transitioning to natural hair, I really, really relied on Diva Curl hairstylists. Something about Diva Curl that I really love is that they are dedicated to learning new information on caring for natural hair. They are dedicated to the science of curly hair, and I just feel like they're really, really into the health of hair. It's more than just, ooh, let's do anything to make these curls look good. No, it's like, how do we get these curls to look as healthy as possible? So what I did was I just stuck with Diva Curl hairstylist from the beginning. I just, for some reason, I just have like a certain level of trust with them because they've got the knowledge, they've been trained, they've got certifications. Like I just had a level of trust for Diva Curl hairstylist, so that is what I went to. But you don't necessarily have to use a Diva Curl hairstylist. If there is another type of hairstylist that you trust, then stick with him or her. They will be able to keep you accountable. They will be your confidant, your person that you can go to when you're feeling just defeated and frustrated. They can help you out with some treatments for your hair and just, you know, kind of just go along the process with you. All right, so for tip number six, this is a very important one and some of you guys are gonna be a little sad to hear this, but I would say Say goodbye 100% to heat. Throw away your flat iron, throw away a hot comb, whatever you use to straighten your hair and just, just leave it alone. No more heat for your hair. The only heat that you should use is if you're diffusing your ends to try and curl them up. But otherwise, you really should not be trying to straighten your hair at all. You don't want to damage the new growth that is coming through because then that's just defeating the whole purpose of transitioning to natural hair because then you're just gonna end up with damaged curls again anyway which is what we don't want. I think heat is horrible. That is just a commitment that I made to myself as well. Like when I started my natural hair journey, I had been relaxed and straight my entire life and I was just ready to embrace the curls. I wanted healthy curls, happy curls, and beautiful curls. And so that's when I decided like in the very, very beginning while I was transitioning, I said no heat, no more. All right, and then for my last tip, which is tip number seven, I wanna tell you guys to just experiment and get creative. You are gonna have two different textures in your hair. Your new growth is gonna look very different from your ends and it can be a little bit frustrating, but if you take it on with a mindset of experimentation and creativity, it can be a little bit more exciting. Your natural hair is going to accept products differently, it's going to react to products differently than your ends are. So try experimenting. Use certain types of products for your new growth and then different types of products for your ends. You'll find that your hair might actually cooperate better when you use different products on the different types of hair because they're different types of hair. They need different things and they react differently to different products. So that's just a different angle that you might need to take while you're transitioning. But yeah guys, that is it for this video. Those are my top tips, my top pieces of advice for you if you are either transitioning to natural or just even considering transitioning. It's not easy, but with these tips, it should be able to help you on a little bit more. The end goal is something super exciting which is having your natural beautiful happy healthy curls at the end of the day so that should be something enough to just motivate you to keep on keeping on let me know below where you are in your natural hair journey that's something that I would actually be really really interested to see like where are my viewers at like are you currently relaxed and just kind of considering or are you transitioning right now have you just big chops like comment below and let me know what stage you're at as for me I am at I'm nearing like a year and a half which is wild if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also y'all know what to do don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey I'll catch you guys in my next video bye